ISTKB Foundation Level Question 33. Which one of the following describes best the difference between testing and debugging? A. Testing shows failures that are caused by defects. Debugging finds, analyzes, and removes the causes of failures in the software. B. Testing pinpoints the defects. Debugging analyzes the faults and processes preventing activities. C. Testing removes faults. Debugging identifies the causes of faults. D. Testing often locates defects that are causes by failures. Debugging removes the failures. Please press pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is A. Testing shows failures that are caused by defects. Debugging finds, analyzes, and removes the causes of failures in the software. This answer is based on definition of debugging in the ISTQB glossary and definitions and differences between testing and debugging in the ISTQB syllabus. We will see these sources in explanation section of this video. Let's see why the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is incorrect because processes preventing activities is testing activity, not debugging activity. Answer C is incorrect because removing faults is debugging activity not testing activity. Let's look at the answer D. The answer is correct according to wording, but answer A is more complete and accurate, not only removing the failures. My recommendation. You may often find two similar answers in exam question, one of which will be more complete and accurate. Be very careful, read the question and possible answers thoroughly, and do not rush to make a decision, as you may choose the correct answer at first glance, but miss a more accurate option. And also, please read the ISTQB syllabus and ISTQB glossary carefully to remember what is debugging and what is testing. Explanation. Let's look at the definition debugging in ISTQB glossary. We can see that debugging is finding, analyzing, and removing the causes of failures in a component of system. And according to ISTQB syllabus section 1.1.2, testing and debugging, we can see testing can trigger failures that are caused by defects in the software dynamic testing or can directly find defects in the test object static testing. When dynamic testing triggers a failure, debugging is concerned with finding causes of these failures or defects, analyzing these causes and eliminating them. This is fully consistent with the correct answer A. I sincerely believe that you are on the right way and will not miss such a unique opportunity to prepare for ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam very thoroughly, according to my YouTube channel. Don't stop. Never give up.